target, target, yeah, they target and boy, they are going straight at it. Hey, it's Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist from Reaction Therapy, here to break down lyrics to a new song called Boycott Target. Oh man, I had to check this one out. It is trending so high on iTunes right now. And it's by Foriato Blow, Jimmy Levy, Nick Natoli, Stony Dude Bro. I mean, come on, this has got to be great, right? I know it's controversial. There's a lot going on. They're sitting inside of a Target. You know our purpose, spread mental health awareness to the world. This could be it. Without further ado, here we go. Boycott Target. All the cool dudes. Yeah, yeah. Tangible yeah. shoppers, tangible yeah. shoppers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cleanup yeah. on every aisle. Yeah. 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 Target yeah. is targeting. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be good just because number one, I love this beat. Like this beat is incredibly good. And number two, they are literally in a target, which I'm kind of wondering if this is boycotting target. If they're, which I'm sure has something to do with the transgender stuff and the clothing inside the Target. But if they even got permit, they couldn't have gotten permission. So they had to do this in some pretty sneaky way, I'll bet. Oh, what a start. That sounded good. Yeah. Yeah. Tangible yeah. shoppers. Tangible yeah. shoppers. Yeah. Yeah. There's a cleanup yeah. on every aisle. Every aisle. Yeah. Target yeah. is targeting yeah. your kids. Yeah. They put a target on my back, but they're targeting your kids. They don't need Boy, they are going straight at it in front of a target, inside of a target. Now, look, I'm going to have pretty clear opinions on some of this stuff because of what I do for a living as a mental health professional, especially specializing working with children my entire career. And they're holding those bottles, I guess, of uh, that are uh, targeted towards that. But I think the whole issue is surrounding putting out clothing that actually, especially for very young children, and I heard even like toddlers or even school age young children inside of Target when it comes to binding things or tightening in on the crotch, and that it's not just clothing with some symbol on it or something that it says, it's actually clothing that encourages or allows, enables somebody to kind of practice their uh, transgenderism maybe, something like that. As a mental health professional, it is not appropriate. It is not good. I don't care who comes up against me. I've worked with children my entire career, almost 30 years. And I'm telling you, children's cognitive ability is not intact until they're at least teenager, late teenager, even young adult. I'll just say teenager, okay? So the reality is they can't make a rational cognitive decision that's best for them because they can't process with their brains what it means with their identity. They may know, may know what they like. They may know what feels comfortable. They do not know what it's like to alter their gender when they're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old. They just don't. And I go up against people all the time with it that uh, very much disagree. However, the point I'm saying is children need to be allowed to be children. They need to be able to play. They need to be able to have friends. They need to be able to use whatever play materials they want to have a good time and play in fantasy and uh, role play and act out, but not in a way of changing their identity or their sexuality when they're young children. So my issue with this isn't about people. It's about children and young children who don't have the cognitive ability yet, but they're influenced by adults. And it sounds like they have the cognitive ability. Remember this. Just because children can't process doesn't mean they can't take in information. They can learn a, a speech. They can learn a, a, an agenda. They can learn a mantra to be able to say very easily. They're very good at taking in information and spitting it back out. They just can't process it. So please take that into account. I think what he's saying is they're targeting your kids. I don't like it if somebody's trying to push something on my children, but I wouldn't go near uh, the section if it was something that was against me. Like I wouldn't walk my children through the liquor store uh, if I was buying something to drink, 
I just wouldn't expose them to something I think that was unhealthy. Yeah, they target kids, target, target. Yeah, they target and target, target. Yeah, they target. You know, they target that wrong. Trying to play with the kids. It's the mayor of Magaville. I'm preaching again. You know, the LGBTQ. The, the mayor of Magaville. So, is that what he calls himself? I guess it's the mayor of Magaville. I'm preaching again. Stirring up the pot. Look at this USA on the top and the bottom. It's the mayor of Megaville. I'm preaching again. You know the LGBTQ do win too far. You know they cutting these kids. They leaving trannies with scars. Why they pushing the gender promoting sexual genders? I'm only rocking with Bruce. Don't rock with no Caitlyn Jenner. You think that gay shit gonna get you paid? Yeah, we gon' see. It's my alarm. It's one. It's one if we trumpin', baby. They put a target on my back, but they targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask because you on the way. Again, the message, forget one side over the other. Please try to not, I don't like people just pitting one side against the other because you don't agree with me, you're bad, or because I don't agree with you, I'm a terrible person. That just shouldn't be the case. You can have plenty of different political views with people, differences, and still be friends with people, or still appreciate people for being people. The main message here being they are trying to make children see how this is something that they should have i think it's a message it's not my message i'm just trying to read what's in here uh trying to play with the kids they went too far he's saying they went too far oh my gosh i think and i think a lot of the main message is it's leaving people with scars that are permanent even emotional that could be permanent down the road it's not everybody all the time but i think we have to be very careful very careful with children because you know what this is a pretty new thing happening now. And 10 years from now, uh, that's when we're going to start to see the fallout of good or bad and whether or not there is something that's happened because of it. So they are, man, they are not holding back though, man. Not at all. I'll get on my back, but they're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask because you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap and I'm always by my bears. This agenda got to stop. Yeah, you know we're going to win when they target Target, yeah, they target and target, target, yeah, they target kids, target, target, yeah, they target and target, target, yeah, they target kids. Heard the news story, target, targeting kids. They going after our youth, and yeah, they do it like this. If you ain't mad yet, well, then you better be pissed. Was that like some champagne? Yeah, they target kids. Heard the news story, target, targeting kids. They going after our youth, and yeah, they do it like this. If you Stella Rosa. That's some kind of, I've got all the different colored, rainbow colored stuff. Stella Rosa, is that a wine or something? I don't, obviously don't drink enough to know all of that, but obviously I guess they're, they're marketing things in a certain direction. And he's saying that's how they do it. We ain't mad yet, well, then you better be pissed. Let's protest until they close and they ain't gonna be missed. Why they got pride shirts in the kids' clothing section? Why they trying to mess with the kids and give misconceptions? They manipulating minds and making evil impressions. Got little boys tucking out by the time they teens got depression. We need a clean. I think that, oh man, that's a different voice. It's interesting with this guy's beard. That's the part I don't want in this world, at least for all the children that I've worked with and young and um, adolescents and teenagers, et cetera. I don't want them to have misconceptions. Like I don't want them to be told something and to believe something just because they heard it. I don't want them to believe something just because it's how they feel now, but a year, two, five years from now, they won't feel that way. So I try to be very careful with the youth of today and don't make short-term choices that lead to long-term consequences. And I want parents to understand something. It is not our job to make our children be a certain way. Uh, we have to be guardians of them and we have to make good decisions for them, but we also have to be good examples for them of being good people. And children want to please their parents and children don't know how to make choices the way adults know how to make. I was told this in graduate school, big people think, adults, big people think that little people think like big people think. And sometimes we feel like they can make grown up decisions that they can't. And I just don't, I know for a fact, 100%, their brain development can't allow them to process abstract thought to understand five, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. They just can't. 
And I think this kind of push towards something in a store where it's one thing to have clothing that has different language or different coloring or whatever on it, but not to actually for young children, four, five, six years old, if that's really the case, I didn't see it in my target. But if that's really the case, then wow, that would be a problem for me. This guy, I gotta hear this guy start. Boys tucking up by time they teens got depression. We need to clean up on every iron side. They start saying resides. Wash it with the blood of Christ. It's needed here, so we don't think twice. They think with a Satanist. We don't know this is the end. God is coming for revenge. Target is targeting they put our kids. It really is something how different each of their approaches are and how this last guy went so high with his voice breaking into the, the singing part of it. He had a lot more uh, religious statements put in his. And look, y'all know me in my faith. I've talked about it a lot. And I also have a job where I help people with their mental health. I've had people who are a Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, Muslim, atheist, all different kinds of people walk through my office over the past almost 30 years. And the one thing they want is help to make life better. And that's what I'm there to do. So I don't push any of that on anybody. I understand where people are, but I do have people look in a mirror and say, just make sure you know what you believe and let's walk through this because I'm not just going to turn the other way when it comes to raising our children. I want our children to grow up strong, capable, confident, and not feel manipulated by anything. So Young children is what I'm talking about most. I'm talking about this under 10 year old children that I just do not have the capability. They're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask because you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap. And I'm always by my bears. This agenda got to stop. Then you know we're going to win when they target, target. Yeah, they target and target, target. Yeah, they target kids. Target, target. Yeah, they target and target, target. Boy, that was something. This is probably the, the closest I've walked to a line in my reaction therapy career with kind of telling you what I think uh, and to maybe upsetting people or getting people to, you know, just disagree because I'm really telling you how I feel as a mental health professional. Uh, separate from me as a dad, even though as a dad, I try to be an example to my children and as a person. As a mental health professional, it is critical for us. And so it may upset a lot of people. I'm just telling you what I know as a mental health professional, what we know about brain research, and that is that children can't make choices like this for themselves this young. It's not possible. And we need to allow them to live lives free of manipulation and to live lives free to be who they need to be, but not who we want them to be. And that, that's just as much with dads who are trying to make their boys, their sons, young, tough, you know, hard men that just don't, you know, that are always tough and are always going for the win and are always be. And we don't need to raise our daughters being sweet and dainty all, this, all the time. No, we need to figure out how to give them an opportunity to explore themselves and their lives and not infiltrate them at all with any kind of agenda that's going to try to steer them in one direction. Other than your own faith belief system, which is what people do, but man, when it creeps into stores, that can, that can start to really be an issue. So I don't know where it's gonna go with Target. I can't wait. Hey, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. I can take it. I'm a big boy. I know how to handle this stuff. And remember, this isn't real therapy. This is just Tom breaking down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. Give me your comments. I'm ready for them. And remember, your mental health matters. So let's go spread that to the world. See you on the next Reaction Therapy. Yeah.